Hello, uh, wine tasting episode six with Granny. We're doing a bit earlier this week. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to test <laughs> Granny's knowledge. She thought it would be fun. Mm. Um, so I've chose two wines and Granny doesn't know what they are. Obviously she can see if they're red or white, but she doesn't know what they are. So I thought we could test the taste buds <laughs> out and <laughs> see if she can guess or get close to guessing what they are. I'd be useless at it. Um, so yeah, we've got two wines to taste for now and another one that Granny's chosen in a minute. So white first because we've learnt our lesson. Oh, look what Granny thinks. Come on. The light here yeah, isn't. Mm. Can I show you the colour? There's a bit, bit much in here to spin around, but. Oh, I keep pouring too much. Hmm. So I'll give. This is a wine that I would. I would probably buy if I was in a shop. It's not uber posh or anything like that. It well, <laughs> it sounds as if we might be getting joined by I'm somebody. I'm just going to pause it and see if Evelyn's okay. Right, sorry, we're back. Mm. I don't think Granny likes it. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's it could be a Pinot Grigio, but I don't like it. Whatever it is, it's it's not for Granny. It really is. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> granny is really really clever because it's I heart Pinot Grigio. Well, I'm sorry, I got a bit of grease in. Now, I would buy this because it's around £5 or £6. And <laughs> that's normally what I go buy for buying wine. <laughs> and I knew Granny wouldn't like it. <laughs> well, she's dead right, I don't. It's too silly. I can taste a bit of, and smell a bit of sulphur. So I knew I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> Oh, no. I, I've got to have some water after that one, Joe. Gosh, it's <laughs> a really bad one. Well, just for you others, it is 12%. And does it say where it's from, Granny? I imagine it's from Italy. It's, it's, it, it's, it's from somewhere hot, so where did it, let me get my glass on. It will say, it's, it's, it's got to say country of origin on it. Can I, am I allowed to go up there? I'm not going to see anything I'm not meant to. No, right? no, okay. fine. Let me go to the light and I'll tell you. Um, it's Italy. Italy. It is Italy. It's Italy. from, um, you know, a bit by, by Venice, right? So it's... Uh, 2019, 12%. 2019, 12%, and mm. Granny gives it the definite thumbs down. Here's the fun part. <laughs> we need to know how many Granny would give it out of five stars. Now, this is for people on a budget, I'd say. Like, you, you just want to go you can and get do a better bottle of wine. than that on a budget, I'm sorry. Oh. I could find a better wine than that for five, six quid. What did you pay? Fiver? Uh? Five ninety-nine. Well that's six pounds in my book. Six right. pounds then. <laughs> right. Six pounds I, poorly spent. I can find a better wine for six pounds, <laughs> right? Maybe that should be Granny's challenge next week. <laughs> finding a better wine for six pounds. So how many you gotta give it a, you gotta give it some stars. None at all? No, I wouldn't be that mean. Because um, there'll be people who will think it's absolutely fantastic. You sure um, you don't want another? It gets better no, after, a few, no. after a few sips. No, it gets no, thank you. That's, I've had sufficient. I need another bit of water or, or even a biscuit or something after that. I can taste it still. It, it's really clinging. It, 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 it really clings to the tongue <laughs> like anything. I can tell you, it's there. So, one star? No, there'll be people who will like it. It's, I don't, it's your taste. 
Well, my taste, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I would give it out of five to... <laughs> <laughs> I would give it three um, compared to the other wines we're tasting. They've been much, much, much nicer, even the one that I didn't like too much last week. But I will buy it again because it's six quid and it's drinkable and yeah. So I'm going to go get Granny something to cleanse the palate because she's really not happy and then we'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back. This is the second one I've chose for Granny. Mm. I'm going to stick it over here because I can't see, Joe. It smells really nice. I'm taking it over to the light of it. Granny's gone to have a look at it. She did really well guessing the last one. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Shall I show? There we go. If you want to see the colour, I don't know if you can get that properly on there. It's a bit tricky to get it on the camera. It's not too bluey. Um, I haven't... You can't really swoop it, swoop it round because there's a tiny bit... I shall slosh it everywhere. Um. Mmm. Now that... That, I would say, is coming from somewhere hot on the nose. It smells lovely to me. Um, I haven't tried so, this one before. So I would say, see, on the nose, it could come from, oh, about three different... It could come from somewhere like South Africa, it could come from the south of France, it could come from deep Italy, because um, it, it just smells as if this one, with all its depth of flavours coming up at you, um, that it's it's come from somewhere warm, California even. I mean, it's... it's it, Chile, Argentina, anywhere that's got great heat, I would say this wine. And it's lots of, um, it's fruity, you've got sort of fruits of the forest almost. Mm. So you could smell, smell fruit depth of flavour there. And I would say, well, it would be interesting to taste it, I would say it's, it's going to be, um, 13% upwards, I don't know, it could be 12.5, but let's have a taste in a bit. Mm. Might not be as heavy as 13, although it tastes light to begin with, then you've got a lingering taste afterwards. Um, she hasn't spat it out, so that's good. No. <laughs> um, I would say you've got a... It could be a Primitiva, but it could be a blend of grapes. It could be a Carignan, it could be um, Zinfandel. Um, it could be a blend of, of a couple of grapes, three grapes. Um, I like it. What exactly it is... This wine I've wanted to try for a while and there is a story behind why I wanted to try it and I might try and add that on the end of the video but I'll explain it to Granny in a minute. Now I think it's probably, probably 13% upwards, okay. I would guess. We're um, going to try and guess, narrow down the grape or do you want to just know? Um, is it one single grape? I don't think so. Cause it's right. It's got two, two, no, it's not. No. No, I, it's not. It, no, I think it's, as I said, I, I thought it was more than one grape variety. And I think you could have, um, Grenache or Mouved, um, and Carignan. <laughs> I don't even know what they are. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> I'm, um, or it could be a Shiraz blended with something. It could be a Cabernet Sauvignon blend. Cabernet Sauvignon with stroke with something else. Oh, is Cabernet Sauvignon one grape or two? No, one. Oh, it's one grape. So is it a Cabernet <laughs> Sauvignon? <laughs> right. This is the one. Um, it's 19 crimes. 
And the reason why I wanted 19 to... 19 crowns. That's what it's called, yeah. <laughs> and the reason why I wanted to try it is because if you download the app and you hover your phone over this, the picture comes to life and it starts telling you about his crime. So it's really like, for me, because I like labels... That's what I'm going to try and add on the end of this video is his story. <laughs> so 19 Crimes, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2019. Mm -hmm. And it's 14%. You wouldn't have said that, would you? Oh, well, I, I, said, I said I thought it was 30 yeah. upwards in the end because there is depth there. Yeah. And where's it from um, then? South Eastern mm, Australia. Australia. Somewhat yeah. hot. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll find out what app I have to download and uh, see what story this bloke has to tell us. It literally is meant to come alive, the label. That's so good. that's Granny's bland taste. She did well, she did really well. You wouldn't think she's got a degree, would you in wine tasting? I haven't got a degree, I've got a diploma. <laughs> oh, so, what's the matter, Evelyn? I'm just gonna get let Evelyn in. Oh, yes, let her come in, it's easier. Come on then. Um, she's um sorry, she's just putting something in the dishwasher. Taught her well. See it, pop it in. <laughs> I'll just pause it while I do <laughs> I think you can tell we haven't got James helping us out with childcare today because it's in the middle of the week. <laughs> so Granny's choice now. So these will be much better, won't they? Here you are, Granny. This is what we've got. Well, I don't know because it's not one I've I've tasted. This is this is one that um, we got from um, Majestic, right? Mm -hmm. This is, it's called Mayu. Can you see the label there? And it's an Apacimento, but it's not from Italy. This is from uh, Chile. It's a Grand Reserva estate bottle, Carmenier, Valle de Elqui, um, Apacimento. And Apacimento, as I explained at the end of last week's videos, where they dry the grapes a bit more so you've got concentrated flavour and this hasn't been opened that long so it, it really probably should have been opened um, a bit a bit before but let's just I'm going to tip it Granny will pour it right I'll pour it in the glasses this time provided the bottle's not too heavy right now the, the way to pour wine if you is to do a little bit and turn as you do it right so just a tad more, right? But that's plenty for ta tasting, right? So you just do that and twist as you do it. There you go. And that's it. And that's sufficient because that will give you... You can really swill it round and look at the colour. Let's have a look at the, the colour of this one, Joe. What, what did I say it was? It, does it give a vintage on this? Um, 18, 2018. Carmenier Grand Reserva. I can see it being very ruby red, eh? not not that bluey at all. Can you do you agree? It was a bit similar colour. Do you think? If you put the, this is the this is the one you you. Oh, I right, think that's, that's lighter. The, this is lighter yeah. actually. Yes. Yeah. This is lighter. Um, I'll just. Hmm. Um, Oh, that's it's a nice nose. Red wines always have more. I, I can smell more in red than I can in white. It just depends on the white. Honestly, it does. Not my cheap, horrible white. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Let's leave that there. So mm. We'll see. What are we smelling? Heat, hot, hot country. I can generally tell that. Um, and a little bit of fruit. I don't know quite. Um, I can smell fruity, mm. like it's just coming out more now. If you keep swelling it round, there's more more flavours coming up at you. So that's the whole idea why you don't want too much in your glass because it does look. I've got plenty of room now to really swell it round. Now you you swell it round. Oh yeah, that makes right. Now, it works. If, if, if you're if you're tasting a number of wines in in the old days, they used to have different proper sort of tasting glasses, so they, they wouldn't be this big, and you could hold them in in your 
hand like this. And so you'd be, well, actually, probably, I can't now with arthritis, but yes, you would have held it like that, but I can't do it, and I would drop it now because Ooh. I've got arthritis. But that's what, how you would hold your tasting glass, right? Swill it right. And then now, you, because you haven't got that much in your glass, and you're really, that throws in the flavour, and that's the whole idea of tasting. Put too much and you can't do that, right? I really need to start putting these so, bigger... Tasting so when you're tasting, okay. it's all right if you're at home and just wanting to, oh, I, I think tonight we've got a nice supper, let's open a bottle of red, okay. that's it's a different story. But when you're tasting, you want to be able to, in your opinion, judge the wine for what it is. Um, there's a cat all right, that's that cat again. Mmm. Well, this I think needs keeping a heck of a lot young, longer, um, and it probably needs a wine that needs food. Oh, okay. I think. I can it's, just, it just, it's a bit... It's, yes, it's very ta tannins. Whatever that means, yeah. Tannins means there's a lot more to work on there. This is a wine um, I think needs keeping probably five years to be... You keep this five years and taste it again. You think, yeah. wow, fantastic wine. It There's smell, a lot. It smells it's, better than it tastes, I think. Yes, definitely. Um, but I think if you have food, this again would be different. Right. I think with food, you, and you, you've got something that would go with this, um, you'd say, oh, this is, this is great. But just tasting it on its own. Mm -hmm. And there is, this would absolutely pay cellaring. Okay. Four or five years, right? Do you know what we haven't done as well, Granny? We didn't give 19 crimes our stars. Ah, we right. Back, so we'll just nip back yes. this on real quick, which I think... Well, I have. thought that was um, actually quite quite pleasant. I think out of five... Oh, I think it smells lovely. I think I would give that um, probably... Um, 4.2, 4 4.3, that yeah. sort of that yeah. sort of area, because yeah. actually that was it that was, was quite nice. that was uh, nice. It doesn't tell you from which um, which uh, who, who's wine of Australia. Um, does it come no. from anywhere in particular? No. Just um, southeastern Australia yeah, wine of Australia. But it, is it from a particular? Um, where are we? No. And just so you know, um, the, these two wines that I got are just from my local wine shop down the road, and this one I got for eight ninety nine, and I think it's worth it because I think it's quite nice. But yeah, about four point two, it's lovely. But I think I'm most excited about seeing what this video is about in a minute. Hopefully, I'll be able to add it on. <laughs> right, back to this one. I mm, yeah, I'm a bit like that with it. Uh, I think for how it is now, um, I would only give it about 4.1. Mm. But if you were to sell her that and, and uh, then taste it again in five years, I think you would think this is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. So it's... Uh, as it, now... 4.1. Yeah, I'd give it like 3.9. Well, there you I are. Think, yeah, right. it's, yes. it's not something no. that I could drink easily, like some, like like my lovely Pinot. <laughs> <laughs> drink that <laughs> easily. <laughs> oh, dear <laughs> me, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, next week, are we going to taste those two? Yes, let's taste the two Merlots. Two so, we, we've got. Um, a Merlot from uh, Australia, and we've got a very exciting Merlot from Brazil. I'm really looking forward to tasting this. Granny is really excited about this one. Isn't I this Brazilian Merlot. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> I think you're going to absolutely rave about it. I'm, well, I'll be really I love Merlot. I, I would be really Merlot. disappointed if we don't like the Brazilian one, okay. I must say. Um, 
right? Right. Because it, it's got a fair bit of age to it, and it looks extremely interesting. But time will tell. So the <laughs> the the um, Merlot is from um, Telegraph Signal Post in Australia, right? Um, so it's it's one of theirs. So we've got got an Australian Merlot, and we've got a Brazilian Merlot. Right. Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye, like, folks. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. <laughs> Bye. Bye.